Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to St. Thomas Raceway Park. It's Friday night. You know what that means. We got some racing going on. Got now laying down some glue, prepping it, making it nice and sticky, just the way you guys like it. So before we jump into tonight's racing action, I would like to discuss and remind you, let me put my Timmy's down. I would like to remind you guys that October, it's the 11th to the 13th, pretty much next weekend, one week from now, is Turkey Nats weekend. I'll insert the date. I had this all written down, guys. I really did. But Turkey Nats weekend's coming up. Huge weekend. Big, uh, I guess you could say it's like a track closer for the year. I've heard people say season enders and stuff like that. Let's see if he looks this way. No. He's pretty concentrated. Anyways, so Turkey Nats, huge weekend. You're gonna see some amazing things. Get your butts on out here. If you wanna know more on the details, go onto their Facebook page, St. Thomas Raceway Park. There is a ton of info. If you don't see it right away, scroll down a little bit. You will find it on there if you look. So, Turkey Nats, awesome stuff. That's covered. Next up, which I'd like to really quickly run past you guys before we jump into this, I thought of a few things kind of do over the winter to do with over the winter that's going to keep the channel going because as you know once winter hits this is done out here so we need some more things to cover performance shops a shop in general so you've got a business that you'd like covered that has to do with the power stuff there we go we got them to look uh, say you have a build going on that you would like some ongoing coverage of we can do that we would like to see your business, your car, your feature here on the channel. And I'll tell you why, because publicity is good. Getting the word out there, letting people know that your team, your shop, your car exists, people wanna see it. And I can help you guys do that. So we wanna see your stuff right here on the channel. The other thing is, hold on. We can feature your logo right with the event logo, with the channel name logo, or even uh, we have four corners available. So throughout the entirety of videos, your company's logo, your team's logo will appear in the bottom corner. Let me know. I think this could help generate some funds to increase what we can film, not just here, but help us get around to other tracks as well. <laughs> This is a debut out here for this. Definitely, definitely have to get their passes. Oh, it looks like we found us some gear jammers. How's it going, folks? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're saying no NDR stuff tomorrow and then test and tune tonight. Everybody getting in what they missed for the last week. Oh yeah, beautiful Ford Torino over here. Always a good lineup with the gear jammer cars. Let's just checking this out. He's got a bit of a traction adder on here. Hey you, how are you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a pretty good sized blower on there. Uh, it is an ONDR event tomorrow, so you will see a lot of the great nostalgia racers here. Speaking of nostalgia, here you guys go, and look at this. Shows up pulling his own trailer. And you will see that car make passes too. So. And actually, have a look at this. Right, we're gonna kick it off with some bikes tonight, folks. Alright, so we got a ZX12R in the 
right lane and we got a ZX14 in the far. We've seen the 14 run out here before. that likes to dip into 12s and 11s. There you go, 11.52. Go 11.92, my bad. Still though. black F-150 here. If you look down on its trim, it says Roush. 5 liter dual overhead cam, TI VCT, okay. We'll find out what that means here in just a second. Red lit. The Beamer just peeling out of there. Thirteen. It's not quite what that FX4 is running though.
God, making all that noise. Oh, would you have a look at that? attempt to the gear jammer. Fresh glue, don't go breaking nothing.
left lane, that'll get you. You do not expect the thing to move as quick as it does. 1321. Chewy down there taking care of the lights. What are you doing, Chewy? Couple of four bangers. It's actually getting dark out already. You can see the sunset over there. And this camera, believe it or not, is not showing it as dark as it really is. Lots of good racing going on right now though. It's a typical Friday night crowd. Not as busy as I was hoping it was gonna be. How's it going? You guys remember we did a ride along in that truck. Absolute acceleration off the line. Fun ride. I think, hard to tell. Now keep in mind, it is dark, folks, but I want to make sure I get another shot of this. Hillbilly Wild. Do keep in mind, guys, that is the debut runs, not just debut to the track. That is the car's debut. So they got a dialer in, set it up. But wow, it sounds so gnarly. Oh, ho, ho, we got us a Grand National. And he's got the snails, he's got that spoolie. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Gotta love the sound of that. I know, it probably sounded funny, but hey. by the looks of it. Oh, we got a gear jammer showdown. A Mopar showdown too. Twenty-three for the win. Left lane. 
This truck will blow you away every time because you do not expect what you're about to see. Well, you guys have seen it before. Showed for a second, but it was 14 seconds. Okay, so here we got the Infinity G35. Very distinctive engine noise, eh? That's that VQ motor, I'm telling you. Might as well get his run. He might like to see that. So you guys can get a closer look. This is what this Audi is. I don't even, I can't even see the badging on the side. A V6T. showed up late. Let's see if he recognizes. <laughs> Gotta get the DSM, right? So probably no burnout from this one. But I've been tracking his progress since he first brought that car out. Really? Yeah. As you guys know, if you've been watching, I've been tracking the progress of this car and driver because every time he comes out, he gets a little bit better and a little bit better. That, and y'all know I love my DSM. off the line that slowed him down quite a bit. Get a helmet. These GTRs, let me tell you guys, they are something else. I'm gonna say it to Larry, it's like a race car. It's
Got the DSM again. Oh, not a very good start though. Oh, they both red lit. 15-2. Alright, we got a Japanese monster on the line. Got zero. Get the radio going for once at the track. seven at the other lane. Oh look at this. We've got our buddy with the DSM here. Let's go for a good launch this time. interesting here. 14.4, there you go. It's on the launch. Yeah, we got a 
focus issues going on because it's nighttime now. And 14.4 to a 13.7 in the right lane. All right, so I was honestly trying to just sit back and kind of relax a little bit because it's getting so dark, harder to film. And then the GTR pulls up to the line again, so here I am. Just can't get enough of this thing. It's a beautiful car. to a 14.5. Hey, you guys want to see a really hard turbo diesel launch? commented on the videos before so knowing he watches them one hell of a burnout so I had to record his pass. Well guys that's gonna about do it for filming tonight, Friday night. It's a pretty decent turnout, some nice cars as you've seen. Back out here tomorrow for Turkey Nats. Oh. Back out here tomorrow we're gonna have some ONDR racing going on as you heard in the beginning of the video. We'll get to talk to some of the ONDR racers, some of the organizers. Let's watch a burn out. Ha. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good weekend. <laughs>